Well, ladies and gents, welcome back to another beautiful fishing adventure. Today, we are out on the gorgeous, gorgeous private lake that me and my dad have both caught our personal best bass out. We were out here last night. Um, I don't know if y'all saw if y'all saw this video clips, but we um, I lost a absolute tank. It, it was not my personal best for sure, but it was pushing a seven pounder. And then my dad in like three casts, the first three casts, caught a four and a half pounder. And I also lost another big one on a frog. So there's some giant bass in this lake. And uh, we just got out here. You can see it's daylight. It's not even fully daylight yet. And uh, we're currently navigating the lake. The lake's about two feet down from a, um, the summer. But honestly, with how hot it's been in Texas, that is not bad at all. We were expecting it to be like five or six feet down. So the lake actually looks beautiful. And we're heading back right now to the creek, which is where we've caught our personal best bass. Let's get back there and go catch a double digit. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Light breeze, not that hot. Beautiful sunrise. Moon is still... Spinning around like a psychopath. I like the spinning chair. Moon is still up there. Dad's trying to figure out the engine. There we go. Let's go catch a big fish. Let's see if we can't thread the needle. Well, unfortunate. Oh man, the line actually got around the tree. And there he is. We threaded the needle and we got rewarded. Oh, I came off. What a big fish. It's hard at this floor carbon just because it's set. Oh my god. Did you see that? Oh my god, you guys, I was burning my frog and then a freaking fish came up and chased it all the way. That was the craziest fish thing I have ever witnessed. It's a good fish too. It's a big bass, you guys. No, I'll flip it. Uh, maybe get the net. Just sling him in right now. We got him. He's choked it. Oh! <laughs> Let's go! That was the craziest thing I've ever seen. That is a solid three pounder, maybe high. A three. That was. So crazy, I hooked a little fish, came off, I was burning my frog in. There we go. That guy hit it, cast it back out, worked it slow, and he came back and got it in just a crazy fight. What a big pretty fish. Let's go. That's funny, I just watched my frog disappear and I just waited a couple seconds to set the hook and I got Be prepared, this is either a ton of grass or a monster. I think it's a ton of grass. Yeah, I think it's a ton of grass and a good fish. Oh, no, yeah, it's a great fish. But, I mean, it's not huge, but great fish and a ton of grass. Oh, that's skinny, but he's a long fish. Whoa, look at that fish. There we go. Super skinny bass, but long one. Yeah, that should be a three or four. Look at all the grass. Yo, we got one on. On the frog. Caught up in a ton of grass. I think he's still on. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, almost fell over. Get him back. Hold up. Well, that is gonna wrap up this little fishing session. Caught some really nice fish. Both me and my dad caught some really, really nice fish. Got some cool frog lumps. And it's just the start of it. We're gonna catch. I'm still committed to catching a giant bass. Head back, have some lunch, and uh, get back out here. Oh my god, I got a mega bass on. Stay on, stay on, stay on. Barely hooked, barely hooked mega bass. Barely hooked, barely hooked. Let's go! Yes, yes, 
Yes, you guys. Let's go, you guys. What a beast of a fish there. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I think I missed that hook set, which I feel really crappy about. I think I, right when I hooked it, I looked down at my GoPro when recording said, so turn it on. But I came, I'm out solo right now on the boat. It's like 108 degrees, 106 degrees, something like that. And I was within 10 minutes on the jig on the bottom. I just caught the biggest bass of the trip. Let's go. I didn't weigh it, but that thing was well over four pounds. My, my, the first one my dad caught may have been a little bit bigger, if not that exact same size. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh, but it's just so hot. Fishing the perfect drop off line. And I am working this thing. Like, I mean, I'm trying to just be dragging it on the bottom. And those fish are not gonna be up near the surface right now. Way too hot. They're either gonna be under shade, but there's not too much shade in this lake other than the dock. They're either gonna be under the shade or deep. The jig. Not a tank, but a little guy. Get that guy back. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I told you we had some big stuff coming up and planned. Obviously, this is just one of the multiple things we have planned up. Some awesome fishing excursions and adventures coming up. So make sure y'all smash that subscribe button to stay tuned. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year. I really think we're gonna get there. And uh, thank y'all so much again for watching. I will see you on the next fishing adventure. Till next time. Peace out.